so in today's video we are going to talk about two things first thing is you how you can create your website home page using googlesite.com it's free and you can easily make your website page by using googlesite.com but unfortunately they are not providing any shopping platform so we will have to add equit for making our website for our brands so in this video i'm going to show you how you can easily make both things at a time so let's jump into our video so please stick around the whole video start from the starting and till the end so let's start how you can create your free online website using google sites and enable a shop feature using ecy hey guys today i'm going to be showing you how you guys can create your own website using google site and it does not provide a shopping platform on the website itself how you can integrate ecy to your google site so you can enable a shopping feature so let's get into it first of all you are just gonna go on sites.google.com and you can just set that on google you probably have your account logged in and then you are just going to click on the blank at the top left so once you do that this is going to be your basic dashboard where you are going to start designing your website and adding your content so over here on the right you can see there are text boxes you can add images you can embed some kind of file you can add stuff via your google drive so you can also change the layout of your website so if you want to move your title over here the image over here or whatever kind of customization you want below that you have your collapsible text your table of contents your image carousel your buttons dividers placeholders youtube clips calendars maps docs slides sheets forms all of these simple things you can simply insert by just clicking on them next up you will have your pages so if you want to add any more website pages you can add them from here and after that you have your theme so over here you can customize the text color style of your website so you can just change that and change the coloring whatever kind of color scheme you want to follow so just to show you guys how to get your design up and running i'm going to design a random website let's change the design a bit let's change the color let's go for pink because as you guys might know by now i really do like pink yeah this shade seems good and then you can also change the font style you want to follow in within this specific template so let's just keep it to a classic you can see the heavy looks like this but it looks overall too bold and too unbalanced with the overall looks uh, so we are gonna go with the classic then we can change our layout we can add any kind of image so let's upload an image from computer gallery i'm just going to select one of these random images you are going to add any kind of title or description you want the uh, then we are going to add some collapsible text so let's just say categories then you are going to add addresses below that let's just say you can add charts and forms if your website is based on more analytical stuff uh, i'm just going for fashion next up and i am going to uh, just add an uh, image corrosive so you might have seen this on other websites there are a couple of images and they are running around in a circle when you place your cursor on them so that is very uh, appealing on this is a great feature provided by google sites because this look very intricate and if you are going for a design based website if you are uh, if you are related to fashion and what not this is a very pretty to have i'm just going to move this to the center of the page and you can see over here that there are going to be three images that are going to be displayed once you place your cursor on them this kind of design is actually quite popular these days everyone is using in their home pages because it is so appealing and it's usually gathers so much information and is able to execute so much that traditional imagery would be not be able to do so once you have designed your website well are you gonna actually sell your products via google site well for that you will have to actually go to ecwid so i'm just gonna ecwid and i'm gonna show you guys what the ecwid platform is like over here you can see ecwid is a free to use online e-commerce store and i think if you are using your google sites platform ecwid is a great integration to make you can also use shopify but shopify is something you will have to pay for and if you are just getting started out you might want to go for ecwid i'm just going to show you guys how to start up with ecwid also you are going to click on the started for free you are going to put it in your details and i will get you guys once i put in mine so once you have logged into your ecwid control panel this is going to be your basic dashboard and on the left 
you can see many options over here you are going to add your product catalog and all other details on the left you will see your overview and you are going to go into that and you can see sell on your website over here you can see there is not direct option to directly sell on google site but you are just going to click on either custom website or other platforms inside builder so i'm just going to click on custom website and you are going to copy this code so you are going to select all of it and then you are going to copy it and now what you are going to do is going back to your google site over here and on the right side you will see insert and below that is embed you are going to embed your copied you are embed your copied code so make sure you go by the embed code not the url you are going to paste that you are going to click on next and you are going to insert that so over here you can see the default products that are available on our website are actually showing up and whatever you have actually added the your actual ec wid website will show up here and you can move this block around so if you want to place it down below if you want to keep it at the top so people can get easy access to your store you can do that you can make it smaller or whatever kind of customization you might require for your personal website so just to summarize with you guys now you guys can easily create a website using google sites so you are gonna do that for free and because google site does not have it in built e-commerce platform you are gonna use ecwid to sell your products and on ecwid you will get your product details your basic business details are going to be present or w uh, on ecwid so on equator sales your catalogs your products and all the stuff you can also import it to google docs or import the data that you have already entered on google docs to ecwid and that is how you will get all set up on google sites or ecwid and have your platform separated so your website team can be separated and it can work on google sites only your analytical team your marketing team your advertisement team can focus on the ecwid platform and take a look at more nitty gritty stuff and the details and what not so your i.t your designers can work on google sites while the rest of the team that's related to the marketing and analytics can actually work on ecwid so that's another benefit of using them separately if you have separate teams for you for the both of these operations or else you can for certain websites builder that do both of these things however i don't think this is actually a bad combination using google sites and ecwid for your e-commerce platform so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this and i will catch you guys in the next video